Ohio to Washington to Ohio, I believe. Oh, okay. He keeps it simple. He won't really do too much fluff. Uh, he loves his forward smash and just like protecting his space. And uh, off those up tilts, he's just going to try to put it into a simple edge guard. Oh, Magnet hands into a down B. Yeah, and we see those down tilts. Uh, like a Kirby who wouldn't do those, probably Rocket's probably getting in every time. There and we go. That should be a stock. Wow. Good conversion from Rocket there. Absolutely. I, I would. I was kind of expecting it up B, but I guess that didn't make sense. Now that I think about it, a good drift from him. Let's see what he does here. Uh, up the standard, a little high, but somehow connects, and that's that'll do it. Stock. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was Risner not understanding the DI there, or maybe just not doing it quite well enough. But I think you can DI out of that combo, correct? You can. Uh, just about any of Falcon's combos that includes both hit a forward air, it is possible to even force just one hit if your DI is strong enough. And, um, and if you, and you can also just kind of position where to get hit in the forward air. Uh, so if you get behind Falcon, then the second hit will just send you back towards the stage. Gotcha. So you generally want to DI in for that or down or? I would say in uh, or down. Like down, you have to go very, very hard. Um, and I know not everyone's used to it, but I've had success with it. <laughs> that single hit affair. Oh, beautiful from Rocket. Yeah. Rocket, uh, I think, I think Falcons in general at this uh, level, they're familiar with not only like your grab and up smash setups, but kind of like your in between, like, okay, I nicked him with one move, like what's my conversion? Um, right. Oh, oh just so smart. smart from Rocket, yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought Risner was getting back on stage. Yeah, I thought not only was he gonna get back, but Rocket was gonna eat it. <laughs> just die right away. That air cutter is deadly. It is. Falcon does have one of the slower standard get-ups, though, mm. and it's invincible the whole time, too, so. Absolutely. Good knowledge there from the Rocket. Yeah. Man, I love Rocket. He's so cool. <laughs> He's a fun dude. I really wish I knew Risner more so, so it didn't sound like I was biased, and I'm not. I really want to see some good play. I don't know Risner too well, but he's always been a very good and respectful competitor Okay. Uh, in the times I've met him. Well, I'm going to take your word for it then and cheer for a good, good match. <laughs> uh, good text away there from Rocket. And again, Risner just smart with those down tilts to protect his face. Not quite enough, though. Won't really get anything out of it at this percent. See if he can get the edge guard here. He's going to... Oh, man, that forward air just not, not a good option. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't play Kirby, but... From the Kirby's that I have played, they don't really usually use that option when they're trying to edge guard. Yeah, I would say. Ooh. I guess it worked out there. Yeah, good option there. Uh, generally speaking, I would say forward air can be good in situations like that if you're doing the perfect land on side plat, because then you can just kind of lead it into just about any other move. Right, of course. It has its uses, but yeah, in but that specific scenario. Yeah, it was definitely way too high. Just not a move I can agree with there. Uh, Risner just getting some chip damage, though. Uh, which Rocket is perfectly fine with as long as he's not in an up tilt combo. Right. And Rocket gets another combo. It's not quite going to kill, but it's going to put him in an edge. Or sorry, going to put Risner in an edge guarding situation. Oh, and that forward smash barely, barely hits shield instead of him. Yeah. Uh, smarter Risner just to hold shield there. Ooh. And Rocket getting a little too uh, overzealous there. Absolutely. Um, just overextending, and Risner just. More than happy to, to, to punish him for that. Oh, man. And Rocket is really wanting that counter hit, but uh, that forward area a little too slow compared to that three frame there. Um, and Rocket looks so good in this matchup, but just uh, a couple mishaps and it's an even game instead. So he's making it a little harder on himself, but he plays like he does the first three stocks. He shouldn't have an issue taking this. Absolutely. And especially, I was a little surprised that he decided to opt to go Falcon again. Um, you know, a character, or sorry, not a character, a player of Rocket's um, repertoire, where he has like all these different characters to choose from. I'm surprised that he would opt for Falcon instead of any other character that he has in a Kirby matchup. I mean, if you ask Rocket, this is an 80-20 matchup for Falcon. Really? According to him. And well, here, there we have it. Well, <laughs> I guess he's showing it. <laughs> so good job from Rocket. Um, Good job from Risner as well. Uh, I just, 